Hey, what's happening, guys? I've got this nice box of LDRs here, and I thought we could take a look at them today, uh, explore how they work, and show you how we can make them work with our Arduino for use as either a simple on off switch or a variable switch. So these are the GL500 series LDRs. And of course, LDR stands for a light dependent resistor, also called a photoresistor. Now, if you look down from the top, you'll see that wavy line, and that's the electrode that reacts with the light. And it's made up of three layers, if you look at it from the side. We have a ceramic base, we have the electrode layer, and we have a resin coating on the top. Now, these particular resistors, the GL55 series, have a maximum voltage of 150 volts and a maximum power between 90 and 100 watts. Now, their response time is about 30 milliseconds. And what else do we need to know about them? Well, what else we need to know about them, we will learn it together here. So basically, they're a resistor that changes or varies its resistance depending on how much light is hitting that electrode layer. Let's, uh, let's take a look at it under the microscope. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this as tightly as I can. But as we look down from the top, you can see where the legs have come up through and it's connected to one electrode over here, these fingers, and the other electrode over there. Now, if we try and look at it from the side here, yeah, you really can't see much at all. Let's uh, put it on the meter, and we'll see how it reacts. We'll start with the small one, the uh, TL5506. And I'm just going to hook it up to the meter and get a resistance reading off of it. So if I shine it a pretty bright light on it, you can see it has a resistance of 0.09K. And if we shield it from all light, you can see the resistance goes up to 2.79. Now we'll grab uh, the larger value. This is the 5549, and we'll do the same thing. So you can get an idea of how they work. So there's our 5549, and if we shine it in the light, we see uh, 0.4K, and if we shield it from all light, well, how big does it go? Bigger than 200? Now we're into the mega ohms. We're at 1 mega ohm. So that's a big difference. Let's go back down here and get our low light reading. 280K for low. 1 meg for high. So that gives us an incredible range to work with. Okay. So as I said, it's a resistor and the Arduino itself doesn't read resistances, but we can use Ohm's law and make it output a voltage by creating a simple voltage divider, which is what I've done here. So if we zoom in here and take a look at our circuit, we're giving it 5 volts and we're going through a 1K resistor and then through the LDR to ground. Now here at the junction I put one of the meter leads and the other one is on ground. So if we take a look here at the meter you can see here in the ambient light of the desk get it all in there. Here in the ambient light of the desk we're getting 2.1 volts. Now if I cover it up, 
we get 4.65 volts. And if I add a super bright light, we can get down to 0.3 volts. So now we have something that we can work with with an Arduino. Okay, let's uh, write down our values. All right, so we know in the ambient light, we're getting 2.14 volts. And then in the dark, what did I do? Did I bump something? Oh yeah, I knocked my ground off. Okay, so in the dark, I'm getting 4.5 volts. So that's given us roughly 2 volts that we can play around with. So now, what can we do? Well, we can get an LED because what goes better with an Arduino than an LED, right? So here's a green LED with a 1K resistor on it. That'll give us a nice 20 milliamps or so. And we can put this together in an Arduino sketch so that the darker it gets and the voltage goes up, the brighter the LED will get. Kind of like a, you know, a kind of a nightlight thing. So let's wire it up here. We'll start off by getting uh, 5 volts from the Arduino to power our breadboard. And then we'll need a ground. Just looking for a long DuPont cable. Hang on. Okay. So there's our ground. So now our circuit will have power. Then we need to read that value from the junction there. And we'll bring that into analog zero because that's an analog value, a value that changes. If it were a digital value, it would simply be a one or a zero. Then we can put our LED in the circuit here. And a jumper, jumper, jumper. I know my uh, technique for soldering the LED or the resistor onto the cathode of the LED might be a little odd. Blame it on Julian Island. That's who I learned it from. I, th I just think it's really convenient. So now we need to run our uh, LED from a PWM pin. And I'm putting it in PWM3. So there's everything wired up. Here's a quick look at our circuit diagram. There's our Arduino, it goes to power, it goes to ground. Our 1K resistor comes from power to our photo resistor, goes to ground. And then over here, whoops, I forgot the uh, 330 ohm resistor there. Okay, so D3, a PWM pin, comes out, goes to the anode of our LED through the 330 ohm resistor, then to ground. Now we need to write some code. Okay, here's the code. It's pretty simple. I'm also putting it on paste bin. So I took just some plain measurements. My average desktop light comes out at 390. In total dark, we're at 905. And when I shine a bright light on it, we get 90. So in my setup routine, I always have a serial begin because that's just about the most useful thing you can do for debugging. And then pin mode 3 is our output going to the LED. 
pin mode A0, that's our input, that's reading from the LDR uh, voltage divider. Then here's our main loop. We create an integer called light read, and it is equal to an analog read of, port of pin A0. Then we're going to create another integer called LED output, and we're going to map it to light read from 1 to 1023. 0 to 254. That's just mapping it down to the maximum of 255 spots for the PWM output. Now, here's what we're saying. If it is totally light out, which means the light is laid at less than 95, then we're just going to shut the LED off. We're going to send um, the LED output value to the serial port for debugging, and we're going to analog write uh, pin 3, the LED output value. Now remember the LDRs have about a 30 millisecond uh, reaction time, so we're going to give it a 50 millisecond delay. And that's it. Work fit. We're done. Okay. Everything is put together. Let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the whole schlemiel. We have light. So as you can see, our LED is not lit, but if I kind of block some of the light, it comes on, and finally, it comes all the way up. So that's it. In order to use a device that outputs a resistance with an Arduino, you simply need to translate it into a voltage using Ohm's Law nothing to it but to do it so if you guys enjoyed this video i hope you give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons and a big thanks to greg for sending all these goodies lots of video ideas in there that's it i'm out peace